Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm running to get across the street here. Here we are at uh, Michigan and Lake Street. We'll cross and uh, we'll head over to the Sears Tower and uh, we'll check out uh, what's happening here on a late March day. Thanks for tuning in, Eric. How's it going? Yaya yeah, yeah, Santana. Thanks for tuning in here. Yeah, see we're over here by the uh, Prudential Tower. Got some wind today. I guess we got some rain moving into the area. Hope everybody's having a good Monday. Hope you enjoyed the weekend. I sure did. I rested my feet. Didn't really go anywhere or do anything, which was nice for a change. But we got all kinds of good things coming up later this week. Hey, Trish, Julie. Yeah, 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 Robert, Eric, thanks everybody for tuning in. Mary Therese, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being on, Mary Therese and Eric and yeah, yeah, and Trish and Jessica. Yeah, it's good. Destruction is, destruction is, thank you. Thanks for tuning in here. Yeah, we got uh, a pleasantly uh, warmer than average day here. I'm just looking at this garbage truck back up into the Garland Court here. Look at this alley here. There's the parking garage with the uh, tires and the grill in the car there. Hey, Khalid's K-E-L-I K-E Kells Kells K-E-L-L-Z I have a hard time reading when my eyesight's getting poor, I guess. Uh, thanks for tuning in here. We got the green trees. Chris, thanks for tuning in. You're at Crystal Lake. That's good. Anita, how's it going? Dolores, thanks everybody for tuning in. The lunch brunch, Marco. Yeah, isn't it nice, Eric? You can stream on the flat screen TV. That's the good thing about YouTube and Streamlabs and streaming in landscape 720p. It's not true high def, but it's, it's I mean, it's amazing how the extra pixel see you can see the whole white Harold Washington College here we can see the top of the jewelers building the Trump Tower look at this beautiful detail we got this is the Virgin Hotels here and this is such a beautiful building you can see as you round the bend here here we got the light here so we'll cross the street let's head into the loop there we got some uh, tow trucks people honking at me because they're everybody's in a rush all the time every day here, let's head down Wabash a little bit. Usually I walk by the Chicago Theater, but we'll give this a try. We'll see if we can catch the L coming by here. Lisa, how you doing there? Tara, Julie? Yeah, thanks everybody. Anita? Yeah. Oh, the Ultra Music Festival was nice. Thanks for asking. I streamed it. It was in Miami, Florida this weekend. I, I think Friday night it got rained out. There was like some storms, so they had to cut the uh, schedule short there i was watching the djs their equipment was getting wet and a few of the stages got shorted out i must have stepped on something sticky there um but here we're heading down wabash on uh my phone says it was 58 degrees we're getting close to 60 degrees here which is pretty good for the end of march here and uh how's it going and uh, we'll, uh, they're directing the traffic in and out of this parking garage. There's a Ross Popeyes. We got some wind, so it's probably going to be hard to hear me today, but thanks for tuning in. B.I., good afternoon. Yeah, Julie, Mary, hey, May, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in, May. And Lisa, yeah, Lisa, we went to the zoo on Friday, so if you missed that, you can check out the rerun. We saw the lions and uh, a few other interesting uh, animals here see we could go we could go well here comes the L here so we'll catch the L going by here here comes a uh, brown line head north Check out that zoo, zoo footage, it was nice there. 
Right here we'll go by the back side of Marshall Fields. Marshall Field. I always make it plural when it's Marshall Field. These beautiful facades here. But uh, no, it was a good week and hope you guys, everybody had a good one. Yeah, this Thursday, uh, the White Sox home opener is down there, guaranteed rate field. So it's an afternoon game. So I'll be sure to remind everybody of this. I'll probably be on TikTok starting at my normal time that I come on for the lunch bunch here. And I want it to stream on YouTube and then go to TikTok, but I think I'm just going to do the whole thing on TikTok on Thursday. There's a, it's a 320 game. So what I'll do is I'll try to take off, as long as I can take off work, Thursday that remains to be seen I'll uh, take the afternoon off we'll walk down to Sox Park there at 35th and the Dan Ryan will go through Chinatown and uh, I won't go into the game I'll just go and tell people tail head through Pilsen on the way back here that's on Thursday that's on Thursday not today today we're just going over to Sears Tower here's the green line here's the green line heading by we're on Wabash here in the loop of Chicago scenes of the city here and uh, thanks everybody for tuning in on a Monday here we're at Washington and Wabash the Washington and Wabash station is right here and how's it going here keep on track they call this jeweler's row and uh, we're on the back side of the TJ Maxx here and there's a Burlington Co factory and all that yeah, Chinatown's always a good time. Yeah, we were down there in Chinatown for the New Year's Parade. And it's right on the way. We can go down to uh, 26th Street, and there's Rico Benny's. We can stop at Rico Benny's on our way to uh, Sox Park. We'll go through Armor Square, and uh, there's like one or two bars there. And then on the way back, we'll just head through Bridgeport. We'll go up uh, Halstead. I'll probably cut over 18th Street. We'll check out the nice murals there in Pilsen. And then we'll end up in the West Loop. We'll see how my batteries, maybe if my battery holds out, we'll do Little Italy, which what's left of it, which is just Taylor Street. We've done that before. And then you end up in the West Loop. But we're going to, on Thursday, I'll be on TikTok at lunchtime starting. I'll have backup battery, all that stuff. So hopefully we can stream for hours and hours and hours. I might have to start and stop a few times, but... That's uh, the nature of just the nature of live streaming. Here we'll head past the Carson Prairie Scott. Someone was asking about the, or not, we were just mentioning the Carson Prairie Scott when we were walking to work this morning, which was nice. We saw the waves at Oak Street Beach. That was good. But uh, yeah, if you just tuned in, we're in Chicago here. We'll try to head over to the Sears Tower. Nothing big. We'll just walk across the loop. We'll head over to LaSalle Street, and there's always those nice vistas, the classic vista to the Board of Trade. You ever seen the Untouchable movie, The Untouchables? And, uh, yeah, Robert Robert De Niro was on uh, Bill Maher a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, and uh, it was right before the Academy Awards there for, he was in that movie about the Osage in uh, Oklahoma and uh, here here's the Carson Prairie Scott the amazing Louis Sullivan cast iron ornamentation when this was Carson Prairie Scott of course now it's the uh, gothic target and uh, we'll head across here and check it out here look at look at this Chris and I are just in awe of Louis Sullivan's detailing. I mean, the time it took, you know, for the artisans to create this, you know. And uh, you just, we just can't build them like this anymore. There's a great artwork here. Look at this, yeah. So here we'll cross uh, State Street, that great street. This is looking north towards, you see the Chicago Theater, the one of the Marina Towers. And there's the L behind us. Smells like someone ran over a skunk, but I don't think it's a skunk, it's something else. <laughs> Here they Zoom is. Get your skateboarding style and shoes and 
Look at that. <laughs> Get your necklace. That's great. <laughs> uh, so here we're heading to uh, Madison Street. Madison Street, the heart of the loop of Chicago. Tara, how's it going? Yeah, you're walking field trip about Louis Sullivan. That's good, Chris. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in here. And Yeah, I appreciate everybody. I know Thursday on my, my TikTok, I'm walking home, my battery. It, it was cold that day. I was doing the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, and I didn't wasn't checking my battery. My screen went gray. I should have warned people, and then I went completely to zero, and I couldn't get the live restarted. So then I have to answer a bunch of questions. I appreciate people checking in on me, many of you. You were like, is everything okay? I appreciate that. Everything was fine. And then I worked from home on Friday. So we just did the morning walk in the snow there around Lincoln Park. I got a rerun there on TikTok. And then we went at lunchtime on YouTube. We went to the zoo, which was a great walk through the zoo. But uh, yeah, we got, uh, I guess... Good Fridays this Friday. We got Easter weekend coming up. My father's coming into town, so you know I'll I'll, I'll go up to the uh, I'll go down to the Sox home opener on Thursday. Uh, I got to meet my father at the train station. We got some wind here. We'll uh, we'll head by the uh, Mark Mark Ch Chagall. We're gonna get some wind here because of the tall Chase building here, the Chase Tower. And uh, we'll head by the Sunken Plaza. I guess they got the fountains on. I saw GA walked by the Daily Plaza and the fountains were on at the Daily Plaza. Let's see if they got the fountains on. Yeah, they got the fountains on down here, so we'll walk by the Mark Chagall mosaics. We got wind. I know it's hard to hear me with the wind. Thanks for bearing with me with the wind here. This is the Windy City. Look at this beautiful Mark Chagall. There, there, there's his. He signed it with Mosaic. How often do you? Oh, the wind. Look at this, uh, the end of it. Here's the other side. And yes, they have the fountains on. Look at the wind blowing the fountain there. And, uh, yeah, they turned this thing on in February. I can't believe. And there's the beautiful, it's called the Four Seasons here, the Mark uh, Chagall classic mosaic here that's been restored. The trees are turning, or the bushes are turning green. There's the Chase building here. And we'll head by this clock tower. They got a clock tower in this, they got a historic looking clock tower in this modernist plaza. Here's the Italian village. It's a leftover from the... Uh, 1933 century of progress, but it's still a great place to eat. You can go to the Italian village right here in the loop. And uh, Krista, thanks for tuning in. Julie, thanks for tuning in. Anna Marie. Yeah, Tara, thanks for thanking everybody there. And May and Anna Marie, thanks for everybody part of the lunch blanks. Thanks for tuning in. And so my father will probably be in town until the Cubs home opener on Monday, a week from today. They're going to have the Cubs home opener. That's an earlier game. That's like noon. So I'm going to try to head up there. And uh, here we'll cross right here. Here's the Italian village here. Here's the L going by. This is uh, Clark Street. Clark and Monroe here. Loop of Chicago. Let's head over to LaSalle Street. But uh, I'm going to ride back with him. At least that's the plan. So I'll be working from his place that first week of April. I got to do some stuff. My cousin's getting married, so I got to get fitted for a tux. And uh, help my dad get his place ready for spring. He'll be starting to get the lawnmower out, mow the grass, all that stuff. And then April the 8th, April the 8th is the solar eclipse. I hope to watch it from my father's house because, or we might go to a town near him to watch it with some of his friends. And uh, here's the Harris Trust and Savings Bank here. Look at those columns. Look at, look at, oh, I'm looking straight up here. 
I'm sure you heard of Harris Bank there. 1882, incorporated 1907. Now it's BMO. BMO bought it up. BMO Harris. There's the lion. It almost, it reminds me of the Wolf of Wall Street. The, the uh, <laughs> Oakmont Stratford, whatever he, his name for the Jordan Belfort, the Wolf of Wall Street. But uh, <laughs> here's, we're, we'll be at LaSalle Street. Yeah, the financial historically financial street of chicago is perfect for the wolf of wall street but yeah i hope to watch eclipse from my dad's place and i don't you know it's going to be always tricky filming that i know you need filters for your camera we got the special glasses don't forget if you want to watch the solar eclipse on april the 8th you need the special glasses so you're not going to go blind yourself staring into the eclipse but uh here's the uh the south street board of trade Eclipse coverage, yeah, I hope to cover it. Well, see, my dad's going to be, there's, you got to go to southern Illinois or southern Indiana up towards Ohio to catch the complete darkness. Because Chicago's not going to be in complete darkness. They're going to be on the edge. It's going to come close to Chicago, but it's actually going to go down in between Indianapolis and Cincinnati, which is right where my father's at. So that's why springtime's a good time for me. And so if I do do many lives i'll probably do the most of the lives from my father's place from youtube but there'll be some tiktok stuff too we'll, we'll mix it up but here we are in the loop of chicago here on LaSalle street LaSalle and marble <laughs> look at this building we went inside that one time here's the board of trade we'll go by the rookery joe ellen how's it going thanks for tuning in welcome to lunch bunch yeah carbondale oh really you had you saw it in Carbondale. I bet that was nice. Yeah, it went the other way that time. It went the other way, but yeah, you had to get down to Southern Illinois, and that's why I'm doing the same thing for this one. It's kind of miss Chicago, but ah, you know this doesn't happen that often. It's amazing we got two chances within a few years here, and so we'll cut across. There's the Board of Trade. There's the Rookery Building. Of course, we've gone inside there. You go inside that beautiful atrium redesigned by Frank Lloyd Wright, if you've seen the Untouchables movies. And here's the Sears Tower, so let's head over, let's see if we can get in that food court at the Sears Tower. We got 1217, and we got a lot of weight here. Yeah, you gotta go south of Omaha. It's gonna go through Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, southern the southern tip of Illinois, Indiana, up into Ohio, and then it, got, then it crosses into Canada. It actually like crosses Lake Erie. It runs at a diagonal. We're talking about the solar eclipse here coming up on April the 8th. But before that, we'll do the White Sox home opener on TikTok, and we'll do the Cubs home opener on TikTok. So I'm just letting people know. So on Thursday, if you're looking for me on YouTube, just go over to TikTok there, Brian Really Chicago, if you want to watch any of the me walking through Chinatown and all that and I'll have two phones so I can charge up one while I'm streaming from the other and juggle back and forth I think that'll be our new system moving into the summer here so I hear the L there it comes right here ah. Raining for my walk home from work. It'll be interesting here. Look at the 333 uh, South Lacker building. Here's the Sears Tower. How's everybody doing here? Jen, thanks for tuning in. JCAT. And uh, oh, they closed the schools on the 8th. Yeah, that's a good idea for the eclipse. That's nice. So, uh, yeah, it should be a fun time. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll be talking about that a lot more heading closer to that date well i'm looking forward to spending some time with my dad and i'm glad he's heading this way he usually waits until the winter's pretty much over and then i'll be heading to his house probably multiple times this summer because i got weddings and uh family reunions all kinds of things go on 
in the summertime here. But here we're underneath the Sears Tower. If you just joined us in Chicago, we're on uh, Franklin and Adams. And uh, we'll head across and we'll circle, we'll circle around here. We'll look up Franklin Street. There's the 333 South Wagner. We've been inside that building. See how you can look all the way north to the Merchandise Mart. We're here kind of in the south uh, western corner of the loop. And if I head around this way, see, isn't it amazing? That's not even the full height of it. We're just seeing some of it. Here, we'll cross the street here. There's nobody coming. You can look right back to the Art Institute. Yeah, north of you. Denton, that's good. Oh, Denton, Texas. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's, we, that's good. Fort Worth. That's good. Well, thanks, everybody, for tuning in from Texas, checking out a little Chicago scenery here. And I heard it's already warming up in Texas, so look at that cute little dog there. How you doing? And uh, so here's the side, one of the sides of the Sears Tower. That's the Sears Tower. We're, right, we're underneath it here. What I'm doing is I'm walking to the south end, and there you see some of the build the, the, the offices, United Airlines, Willis, Abbott, you know, some of the companies, many companies that uh, have offices in the Sears Tower, or the Willis Tower, I should call it the Willis Tower, when, when the Willis is one of the companies I know I call it the historical name, most uh, Chicagoans still call it the Sears Tower, we always talk about that. There's the big bus Chicago heading by. Yeah, watch Chicago. That's good. We're all connected. We're all connected. So thanks for dealing with the wind. Isn't it amazing that new building there? It's nice to see a new building down there, down in the South Loop, and that's along the north end of the 78, the new neighborhood that they're building down there. So we're down to Jackson. Is this Jackson? Jackson and Franklin. Jackson and Franklin. There's the top of the Board of Trade right there. Here's the 333 South Michigan here. I was going. And then we'll head right. There's a food court in there. I've been here before. We've got a lot of footage in here, but this is something to do here. And if I have enough time, we'll head over to Union Station. Union Station is under construction. But uh, here's some people. It looks like they can go to the observation deck this way, but I just want to show. So good, it's good to get out of the wind here. Here's this nice food court that they just added recently. It's We're in the Sears Tower, they, they added this. This used to be a plaza on the south end. And look how you go down a few stairs here and you can look, there's a glass atrium and you can look straight up through the glass to the top of the Sears Tower there. And so if you want to go to the top, you actually go down, back to the escalator here and you go down. You actually go down just like the John Hancock. You go down to go up. But uh, look, you got all kinds of do-right donuts and chicken. The sky deck. See, there's the sky deck. If you want to go to the top of the Sears Tower, you go down and then you can buy tickets. There's field trips and kids here. Plenty of places to eat, many levels. And uh, we won't stay long here, but uh, my, is my connection okay still? Let's see here. Are we streaming? out. No, we're, lo we're losing the connection. We're losing the connection, so let me head out of here. If I lost the connection here, it's a, we'll head right back out here. We'll go back outside. Hello, Sandra. How you doing there? Welcome to the lunch bunch. See how windy it is outside? Watch. As soon as we do the wind, will come back here. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so to get to the top, you got to start at the bottom. you got to go to the basement. It's like the basement in the Alamo. <laughs> and they got this nice 3D mosaic. I like it here. And it looks nice from across the street. We're seeing it up close. See, they're checking it out. And you can touch it. Art, you can feel. It's nice. There's the uh, 333. It's out the Wacker building. If we cross the street here, there's not much traffic, so once this traffic falls, we should be able to cross it. We've got the Union Station here. Okay. 
I know this car is going to do a U-turn. <laughs> Here's a uh, lacquer drive. There you can see the Sears Tower. There's the full height of it. There's two. The one in the center there goes to the top. The ones on the side don't. So here we'll cross the street here before this traffic comes. Oh, they're turning. Yeah, it's always a car. No matter when you start, another car starts to pull out. So we'll cross the uh, Chicago River here. And we'll head over towards Union Station. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. How's it going? Look at this beautiful building here. So here's the uh, South Branch of Chicago River. There's a water taxi stop right there. So water taxi stops right at Union Station. I'm so happy these water taxis are going. In. So I need to research it maybe later this week if, if they're running. I gotta see if see they, they might might only run in it. I gotta hold on my hat so my hat doesn't fly into the river here. I don't want to lose my black hat. We got a lot of wind here crossing. Jackson Street. Just looking north here. I'm missing the comments because I'm holding on to my hat. I'm just trying to head through here. Right. So here we'll head into Union Station. We'll get out of the wind, but there's a nice view of the South Branch of Chicago River. Can't wait till they bring all the uh, sailboats back in. We'll try to cover that. And I'll look at the comments here once we get into Union Station here. So you see they're still working on it. Yeah. Spam is made in Nebraska. Wow. Yeah, spam. It's big in Hawaii. They start running on April 1st. Yeah. They started a little earlier. She took one. And Jay took a water taxi, I guess, on weekends. I guess they'll run it on weekends, and that's when she caught it. She, she took a yellow water taxi. But if you just join, we're heading in Union Station here. And uh, hey, Marco, thanks for tuning in. Thanks everybody for saying hello. Oh yeah, that tower is huge. Talking about the Sears Tower here. So here we are. Here we are in Union Station here. We'll head right down to the main. Uh, and if I lose my connection, sometimes I lose my connection in here. Please bear with me. We'll do the best we can. It looks like we're streaming 3,800 kilobits per second. You just joined. We're in Chicago. We're at Union Station, which is one of the major train stations. Hey, I was watching, you know, uh, Christopher Dotson. He tunes in a lot for the Lunch Bunch. He has an amazing YouTube channel as well. I need to promote Christopher Dotson. He, he was walking around New York City in the rain either Friday or Saturday, and I was watching some of his he was right down in Midtown Manhattan going through Penn Station, Central, Grand Central Station, and he also went to the High Line in Manhattan. It was raining the entire time, so Christopher Dotson, I, I think a lot of you know him, he tunes in here on the Lunch Bunch. He lives in the New York City area, and he live streams. He's got like 600 videos on YouTube, so please check him out. If you like uh, street walking, he, 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 he does New York City and does a great job. And so here we'll see, here's all the tracks here where you can catch the Metro. Chris knows and we'll head right into and we'll get out into the main hall here this is where i always lose my connection so bear with me it's uh, we're underneath the street here so it's really uh hard to maintain a live stream here but we'll do the best we can and here's a ticketing some of the ticketing counter for amtrak they moved it around here since it's under construction some of the waiting area for amtrak's here of course this is one of the major hubs for uh amtrak and this is the largest, by volume, passenger commuter rail station in Chicago, Union Station. Look at all the, here's all the Metro trains. Though these go to, and here's all the, the Amtrak trains. Milwaukee, Madison, San Antonio, Los Angeles, Seattle. You can really go nationwide, it takes a while. And there's all the, the Amtrak, here's a lot of the uh, Metro trains here. Yeah, yeah. See, they're looking at it too. But here's the uh, grand entry to the historic portion of Union Station. Look at this rotunda. They got music here. Here's the Metropolitan Lounge where you can wait wait for the Amtrak. 
Yeah, Silver Streak. Silver Streak, that movie, yeah, that movie, Silver Streak with, uh, was uh, Richard Pryor in that? Yeah, he, he was from Peoria, but they used that. Of course, uh, that film with Gary Coleman that Danny talks about was filmed here too. And here's, uh, of course, The Untouchables as a famous baby carriage scene in here. And let me get to the side here so we can show the, uh, let me get all the way to the back here. Clinton Street, you can go out to Clinton Street. We've done that before. Look at the flag here. This is the uh, waiting area for Union Station here. Chicago. There, Silver Street. Yeah, they use that. And, uh, look how they got, this is a neoclassical design here. They built this in the early 1920s. You got these columns. Yeah, I remember that movie with Gary Coleman. He like was living here, you know, and, and uh, that was like what early '80s. I haven't seen that film since I was a kid, and Danny was talking about it. And uh, you see how there's isn't it great here? You know, a lot of uh, people use Amtrak and they they wait around here. There's where the famous baby carriage scene in the entire there. And of course, we're in the Union Station, the grand uh, waiting room. And then we'll head out here, we'll head through the West Loop. So let's go up these stairs, let's go up these stairs. We'll exit right on Canal Street. And they got the skylight there. And these beautiful columns, look at these Corinthian columns. And the cornice. And uh, the baby carriage scene where they had a action scene at the end there. And the baby carriage rolls down this stairs and they catch it right at the bottom. And uh, eventually get Al Capone there. Elliot Ness, <laughs> Canal Street. Yeah, most famous black female performers did a concert. Who was that, Danny? And uh, so I can mention that and make sure I get it right. And uh, yeah, you know, many great famous Concerts were held here. Thanks for the good information. And it's historic for multiple reasons. Not just the movies. What you're talking about probably makes it more historic. And uh, thank you. So here we'll uh, look at the... See, here's the columns underneath here. Union Station. Union Station, Chicago. Yeah, Grand Central is actually bigger by volume. And of course, Grand Central Station has a similar large area without the seats you know you know it has the ticketing place that's where christopher dotson was at you know he i just watched his video he was there just a few a couple days ago and it was raining and uh, see there's the top of the sears tower we were just underneath it where union stations just across the river from that it almost lines up with it that's why they built the sears tower where it's at because of its proximity to between union station and LaSalle street and so we'll head up Canal Street. What time we got here? 12.33. So I got about a half an hour. That spire is Old St. Pat's. Old St. Pat's is over there. They have a giant block party every year. We'll, we'll get some more footage of St. Old St. Pat's there in the West Loop. There's the Sears Tower. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll, we'll head up uh, Canal. See, they got, they got construction here. They, they, they got some of the backsides closed off. Yeah, they got they got this whole street closed off, so you can't even go down Canal Street, and that's why traffic's probably messed up on the other streets there. Yeah, check it out. Have a good rest of the day there. Yeah, thanks for tuning in there, PI. And let's see. Yeah, thanks, Tara, for the good comments there. The Parthenon. Yeah, all this neoclassical architecture with the columns. You know, it's amazing. Yeah, and. Uh, and you can start contrast it with this modern glass boxes they built later. <laughs> but these were built on air, uh, railroad air rights. There's a railroad train yard. All these buildings, this building, this building, and this building, and the Riverside Plaza are all built on railroad air rights. So when you go in, when you when you when you enter when you by train, when you come in either Amtrak or the Metro from the north side, you go underneath those buildings next to the river. And we went down there. I always lose my connection when I go down there because it's just too much concrete. <laughs> but we're at Monroe, Monroe and Canal here. There's the Mercantile Exchange. And uh, that's the wind here. Oh, the wind. Yeah, let's head over to the river here and see if we can catch uh, 
Well, they're working on it, so I don't know if they got the plans as open or not here. We'll figure it out here. Oh, the wind. Welcome to the Windy City. See, they got Canal Street shut down by Union Station here. So, uh, across the street here. I guess we'll head up to Riverside Plaza if we, so we can show you the uh, Ogilvy Station. Ogilvy Station's right up there. It used to be the City Corp building, now it's called something else. There's the Mercantile Exchange. There you see the station. I keep almost losing my hat. The wind keeps wanting to blow my hat off. This is the strange, strange, gusty wind. Taking the train from the burbs, that's what you do. That's what you do. You take the train from the burbs, you either go in Oakland or you're in the station. Actually. You can't come into LaSalle Station or Millennium Station. There's four main Metra commuter rail stations that diverge on the loop from different sides. And we're still on Canal Street heading north here. We'll head up to Riverside Plaza and then we'll cut straight across. We'll probably go over Randolph. Yeah, we'll just head straight over either Madison or Randolph here and uh, see this is an old AT&T switching building and that's why there's so many floors without windows and I just felt a raindrop and that guy's looking too we felt some raindrops so we're there is rain moving in the area we got about 58 degrees last time I checked the temperature the winds picking up and we're over at uh, Madison and Canal here in the loop here We'll see if we can get back before the rain starts. Yeah. Godin, thanks for taking the train. That's a good way to get from the burbs into the city. You don't have to worry about parking your car. And uh, you just relax. Have a drink. There's the a a Accenture Tower. They call it the Accenture Tower. It used to be the City Corp building, but that's where Ogilvy train station is. The second largest metro commuter rail station the amtrak does not go in there just the metro and uh look at the that's the civic opera house the back side of it and look at this beautiful detail to riverside plaza we'll cross the street here and we'll go right in the front of riverside plaza here look at that art deco detailing here this building was one of the first buildings in the world to be built on air rights to be built on railroad air rights you can go inside there and there's a beautiful, see, Riverside Plaza, 400 West Madison. My hair is blowing in, my hippie hair is blowing in my mouth here. It's whipping around. <laughs> but there, you can hear the train, so you can come, you can actually exit the platforms from Union Station there. And I, I've tried to film that, I always lose my connection when I go down there. There we're still seeing the Sears Tower from the other side, see we just walked by it. And there's the Mercantile Exchange, these two some mirror image buildings symbolizing trade I guess and uh, there's the back side of the Civic Opera, Opera Opera building you see it written there on the wall and it goes right down to the Chicago River here's where you can catch a water taxi yeah I think Jay said they start April 1st so then we can take some water taxis at lunchtime that's or if we here it's starting to rain it's starting to rain there look at that there's the Civic Opera Building. Look how it looks like a throne. And here, Riverside Plaza. Look at that beautiful Art Deco detailing with the clock. It's classic. And then you go up this plaza. The trees are starting to uh, bloom here a little bit. Happy Monday. <laughs> there, Civic Opera Building. That was in Citizen Kane. Yeah. Bruno, thanks for tuning in. Good morning. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the Lunch Munch here on YouTube. And here's Riverside Plaza again. This was built on railroad air rights in the late 1920s. This Art Deco beautiful building. And look how they got this little alcove. And uh, now the rain's really coming down. So we might have to head in the Pedway. We might have to head into Pedway and then I'll test out my connection to see if we can because I didn't bring the, the I didn't bring the puck because it's starting to rain here and I didn't realize this rain. I look I looked at my phone, it said there was a 20% chance. So we're getting a 20% here, it's raining. And I'll try to get down to the Pedway because I don't want to damage my gimbal. And actually, let's head under the Boeing here. 
Let's see where we at here. Is this Randolph? No, this is uh, Washington. This is Washington. So I'm gonna hope this. I'm gonna cross this through. Well, no. Let's let's head this way. Hey, look at that. There's the there, there's a, a, a tour boat going by. Let's get let's get over here so we can see this tour boat going by here. Here's the south branch of the Chicago River. Looking south there. Kevin, how you doing there? Thanks, Bruno. Yeah, Chicago loves you. Hey, look at this. Here's Chicago's first lady right underneath us. Bear, you're getting an architectural tour here at lunch. There's Riverside Plaza. Chicago's classic lady. See the tour boats and the, the rain stopped, so good. So she got the umbrella out. The, 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 the rain is starting and stopping here, so. We'll uh, hope it stops. <laughs> we lucked out there. Look at this detailing on the Civic Opera Building. But uh, yeah, the Chicago River. We're on uh, Washington Street. Heading east. Heading east. There's the Bank of America Building. Look at that. How it's cantilevered, or it's not really cantilevered. It's got the structural elements. They just only use three structural points to hold up that whole side of the building shannon how you doing there thanks for tuning in sandra and julie and michael and everybody else thanks for tuning in here on the lunch bunch we'll cross the street see we got wind here it's a little wet here but people are wearing shorts it's warm enough to wear shorts we're almost up to 60 degrees and every time it warms up we get we get rain so that's what's going to happen later today We'll wait to cross here. Well, we'll cross here at uh, Wacker in Washington. There's the Sears Tower. See, we were just down there. Yeah, 1242. There, we got the light. Let's keep on moving here. There's Wacker Drive looking south, the Sears Tower. We'll cut through the Daily Plaza. I want to see. Jay, Jay filmed the, the fountains were on at Daly Plaza, so I want to see that the fountains are officially on. I've seen them turn them on for St. Patrick's Day, and they used to dye them green, but I, I didn't go buy it to see if they did that or not. And uh, we'll just head uh, east on Washington Street here for a little bit. Yeah, keep calm and carry on. You know, there's always crazy news but uh, we're still here and, you know it doesn't matter where you're at it's so strange it's so strange that you know I saw that attack in Russia over the weekend and uh, you know ISIS K is attacking Russia they attack us even though we're not exactly allies of Russia. It's interesting. And then, of course, the leader of Russia is blaming it on Ukraine, which is not proven. So he's immediately trying to use it as propaganda. And uh, just see, the world is a dangerous place. And as much as we try to, you know, stay positive, we got to be realistic and always be on our guard, no matter where you're at, whether you're in the big bad city or in the middle of the country, it doesn't matter. Here's uh, Franklin in Washington here, Chicago, Illinois. We've got people tuning in from Texas and Chicago land and all corners of the globe. It's great. Thanks for tuning in here. We'll cross, uh, we'll keep going uh, east here. 40 hour ride from New North Carolina to Chicago. Hey, Eric, there you go. It's possible. Yeah, I guess you could go up to Washington, D.C. and then you could take the cardinal the cardinal goes through the appalachian mountains it goes through virginia west virginia you end up in ohio like cincinnati and then you, you'll go up to chicago it's a long ride you know you, you got to have plenty of time because usually they don't keep their schedules but if you get a sleeping car yeah four hundred dollars 
I don't know if that's coach or, or with the sleeping car. It's probably more expensive with a sleeping car. But, yeah, once you get up from North Carolina, there's all those rail lines that go from Washington, D.C. to Florida. You know, it's easier for you to get up to Washington, D.C. or Florida. you got to transfer to go to Chicago. But it's possible. It's just nice to know it's possible. I've taken the Amtrak from Chicago to New Orleans, the city of New Orleans. I've taken the Amtrak from Chicago to New York City. Went down to Hudson. You go through Albany, Syracuse, and, you know, Buffalo and all that, Cleveland. And uh, it's nice. It's nice to have options. Airfare is always the fastest and usually the cheapest, but then you're you're, you're subject to the weather. But uh, positive and negatives to everything. What do we always say? Well, here, welcome to Chicago. We're heading uh, east here on Washington. We got 15 minutes to get back to Michigan Avenue. We we did we did pretty good. We saw the Sears Tower and we saw the Union Station. So if you missed it, you can watch it during the reruns. Baron Garoos, get your meat pies, milkshake, smoothies. You got the pie window right there. There's the I Am Temple. Look, look at those balconies. Look at those balconies up there. I like that. There's the Cardozo's Pub. Go to Cardozo's Pub. Yeah, they got the flowers here. Pear Chef. Go to the Pear Chef. Psychic. They knew you were coming. Look at look at the look at this beautiful crystals and the chandelier here. Yeah. Yeah, I got all kinds of stuff here. Crystals. The lotus. Vietnamese kitchen. Yoga. You got all kinds of stuff here. Yeah, Bruno, how you doing there? <laughs> Make Mexico paper, I see Kevin. Yeah, so what are we talking about? Yeah, it would be nice if we had a true high-speed rail system. I've ridden the, the, the high-speed trains in Japan, and it's amazing. I know they got them in Europe and France and Spain, you know. Here's uh, Chicago City Hall. Well, we spend all our money on highways, you know. I was looking at Corpus Christi. They're building a brand-new bridge there because they need to. Just they're building a brand-new bridge in Cincinnati because the Brent Spence is about to... Uh, fall down just maintaining our automobile infrastructure takes a lot of our money i know it's a controversial to raise the gas tax you know <laughs> we just we just put it on the national debt isn't it great we got this wonderful system where the world just can't get enough of our debt so we just can produce as much as we possibly can until someday it's going to come back to haunt us but not today <laughs> here's uh, We'll head through Daily Plaza. We'll go by the. See, here's the city hall. We 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 got the county. See, the Cook County buildings on this side. The city hall is on the other side, and this big, giant, combined city hall, Cook County building. We'll go by Daily Plaza, the federal courthouse. Am I losing my connection here? Okay. Yeah, they got the Excella. They got the Excella through New Jersey. It goes from Washington D.C. to Baltimore to Philadelphia to New York to Boston that's the Excella and they never really can like open it up they want to run it like 120 miles an hour and it's only like small stretches where they can actually run it as fast as, as possible you know some of that's a positive traction you know they got the system for safety hey the fountain's on here so here we are crossing in front of City Hall here here's the Daily Plaza so we'll go right by the fountain Looks like they're setting up for an event here, so we're getting to the season. You remember in the summertime, we come over to Daily Plaza a lot because they got the farmer's market, usually on Thursday, and on Fridays they got the food trucks. And usually when they got the farmer's market, they'll usually have a stage and they'll have like cultural dances or speakers. A lot of it's like political speeches where it's, you know, no guarantee what they're going to be saying. I just show the world as it is, you know, and I rec I. I I'm all for people's free speech and freedom to assemble. Here's uh, here's the fountain here at Daily Plaza. It's on. So another sign of spring here. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can figure out what they've got set up here. If there's going to be some event here. Here's the Picasso. There's the Picasso Channel 2 News TV screens over there. And so, uh, yeah, they got the flags here. It looks like a, is this, is this the Greek flag? Yeah, the Federation of Hellen, Hellen, Hellenic 
American Association. So there's going to be uh, a, 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 a Greek Federation of Hellenic Enosis, Illinois. You see the see the uh, symbol here on the on the uh, lectern here, and they're going to probably have uh, they got they, either they already have it or they, they're going to have it. They're going to have a uh, there's probably some of the dignitaries over there. Hey, let's film these guys. There's some veterans. There's some veterans here. This is awesome. See, they're out there. They're they're everybody's waiting outside the rain here, and see they're waiting for this wonderful event to start here. How you doing here? Welcome to uh, Daily Plaza here in Chicago. See, there's always something going on here. There, you can see it there. There's the Picasso. So I'm looking forward to coming back to Daily Plaza many more times in the spring and summer. And uh, <laughs> back at Trojans, yeah, <laughs> Chris. Look, everybody's inside. Look, they got some cultural dancers. Look, they got people dressed up. Here, let's check this out here, if we can get inside here. Look, look, they got some cultural dancers. Oh, this is beautiful, look at this. Yeah, they got the, yeah. Isn't this nice? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is great. People are cheering them on here. We got here just in time. So this is uh, part of the Greek culture. Yeah, this is uh, a Hell Hellenic society here. Hello, how's it going, Jeffrey? Thanks, Robert. Yeah, I'll get married here. <laughs> I know. I, Opa. <laughs> well, isn't that nice? See, I didn't. I didn't expect that. You know, I'm glad I saw they. They, they probably were outside, and they uh, went inside, and they're doing the dance there. That's the Greek culture. Hellenic uh, Association. I filmed the lecture in there. They, probably because we got that little bit of rain, they moved the whole thing inside. They probably would have been dancing on the stage if it didn't. We didn't get that rain there, so at least we saw it there. <laughs> Be like my big fat Greek wedding. My big fat Greek wedding, of course, was set in Chicago. At least the you know, and and that 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 shows you. You know, isn't that great? All the different ethnic heritages that we have here. The patchwork quilt that is Chicago. And here we'll head across the Nederlander Theater. Here we got 1253. I would have stayed longer, but I got to get back to work here. So you know where we're at now, the Goodman Theater. We'll go by the Nederlander. We'll go by the Chicago Theater and we'll wrap this up. But uh, thanks for tuning in here. Hey, they got Peter Pan. They got Peter Pan playing at the Nederlander there. So the Cambria Hotel Theater Zenzani. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go by block 37. Yeah, it's a long break. Yeah, I take an hour for lunch. Usually people shame me if I'm not back to work on time. They're like, we're going to call your boss. I said, go ahead and do it. There's the Nederlander Theater. <laughs> we go by this all the time. Flying into Chicago for two weeks only. Peter Pan there, the Nederlander Theater. You can check it out, Broadway in Chicago. There they got the posters up here, block 37. Food, fashion, and films. There's the banner for Peter Pan, and there's the Blick. That used to be a German beer, uh, German beer hall. After the Century of Progress, they moved it into the loop there, and that's why it always looks like a cuckoo clock to me. And uh, Chris East Lansing, that's great. Yeah. Student athletes love chocolate milk, extra protein. That's good. Yeah, I drink chocolate milk too, just because I like chocolate. Not because I'm an athlete, but that's a good point. There is the muddy waters here. We'll head across. This is uh, State Street, State and uh, Washington. There's the Chicago Theater. We'll, 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 we'll get it from this side. Usually we see it from the other side, but. Hey, how's it going? People are honking at me, and I don't understand why. And uh, I guess they just wanted to say hello. 
and uh, thanks for tuning in here. There's the Nederlander Black 37. You see the housing above it here? If you just missed it, we saw some cultural Greek dancing, which was nice. And yeah, we'll head across the street here. Everybody else is crossing, so we might as well cross too. No bikes are coming. 12.55, yeah, I'll wrap this up in the next five minutes. See, we'll go into the Chicago Theater here. We'll go right by the Medieval Torture Museum. Ali Wong live, March 23rd to 25th, sold out. That's right now. And you see across the way, the Gene Siskel Film Center. This nice building here. Channel 7 News is there. We got the Joffrey Ballet right here above the Walgreens. So you can see people. There's the uh, subway exit. The entrance is up there. Here's the Chicago Theater, State Street. And we'll head over the marquee here. There's your heater. <laughs> you can get warmed up. <laughs> Look at the lights here. Yeah. <laughs> We're a celebrity. Got to find some way to monetize it. Everything that can be monetized will be monetized, right? Here's the torture museum. Yeah, Grim Evil, check this out. And we'll... I'll try to get up to the Grayson Cemetery. Depending on the weather, we got to see what the weather is going to be like on Monday. We have no idea what the weather is going to be like for the Cubs home opener. Of course, we'll get down to the Sox home opener, which is Thursday. And here we'll cross the street here. We're underneath the... Uh, we're underneath the... Uh, Lake Street. The old tracks we'll head right back to Michigan Avenue. But yeah, this Thursday, I plan to go to, weather permitting, I plan to take off a half day and in the afternoon go down to Bridgeport. We'll go to Sox Park, guaranteed rate field for the Sox home opener. Just tailgate with people, walk around the parking lot. And then I'm not gonna go in the game all, on the way back. I'll be on TikTok. So if you'll, if, on Thursday, if you're looking for me, the Lunch Bunch on YouTube, check TikTok, because I'll probably be on TikTok starting at lunchtime or shortly thereafter. And then uh, we'll head through Bridgeport and Pilsen on the way back. If my battery holds out, we'll do Taylor Street, Little Italy, and take a little walk through the south and west sides because Pilsen's in the west side. Bridgeport's, of course, in the south side. It all depends on which side of the river you're on here at Washington College. But hey, we had a nice, uh, thanks for coming along this little loop tour. We got to the Sears Tower, Union Station saw the river there and we saw that greek dancing that was nice we caught that at daily plaza so i, I look forward to looking at the reruns for that and uh <laughs> yeah yeah just throw just throw it right there <laughs> see like see yeah <laughs> how you doing and uh have someone else pick up your garbage just throw it in the street but uh here's uh yeah, we'll see what happens with his properties. I guess I saw a news article. I guess they reduced the amount he has to pay. So, see, look, everything's negotiable, right? Everything's negotiable, even the fine that the federal court forces you to pay. If you don't, if you don't have the money, they'll just reduce the fine. I wish they would do that to us. <laughs> That's enough about that. Here's the, uh, yeah, you see we're right back. This is where we started. So we'll start wrapping this up. Thanks everybody for tuning in. I really appreciate you here on the Lunch Bunch. Did I miss anybody? Julie? Yeah, Chicago Theater. That's great. Yeah, Grim Evil. You're right, Tara. I know. Yeah, you could, you could check out Grim Evil's Instagram. He's got a lot of great photos from the Torture Museum. I said the same thing. You know, I'm glad he went to it. And uh, here we'll cross. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll. And uh, but thanks, Chris. Thanks, Julie, Tara, Marco. At the Torture Museum. Robert. Yeah, thanks for catching the lunch. Uh, YouTube there, Robert. Appreciate it. Shannon. Kevin. Danny. Julia. Jeffrey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what get out of the road. Pedestrians aren't allowed on the road. Shannon. And if I missed everybody, Jer Jeremy and Lisa, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, check out that footage from Friday. We went to the zoo if you missed it. And we'll be back on TikTok tonight. We'll head just always head home from work as usual, and have a great. Uh, well, let's see if we get the light here. I'll get you the view of the Wrigley Building here. 
across uh, as we cross Michigan Avenue here. We're back at Nando's Nutella's. There's a Garrett's popcorn right there. But look at this great view we got to the Wrigley Building, the Sears Tower. We'll see it. People are in shorts. We got a warm day here. It's almost 60 degrees. It's kind of windy, and it's going to be probably. We'll see if it's raining. It might be raining. But if you missed it, we got, we got some Greek dancing there at uh, Daily Plaza. And I didn't get married, so <laughs> we'll save that for some other time. <laughs> They'll set me up. They'll set me up with a nice uh, Greek woman. Yeah, that would be awesome. Here's, uh, here's the Wrigley Building. And uh, have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Robert, Marco, Dolores, Lisa. We'll see you all later. See you after five. Yeah, it's a good idea. Thanks a lot.